Tonse, Tonse, folks. And this video is going to be a bit different. You know, it's going to be way different than what uh, I'm, a, you know, you guys are accustomed to. Uh, basically, I'm going to show you why it's going to take me a while to be able to, uh, you know, do videos for the summer. This is my explanation for it. Now, I don't know how well this is going to go or how well you're going to take it. But as some of you may know, I am indigenous first nations i am an indian some of you americans or other people i have long hair all right i'm i'm first nations indigenous i, I know i keep saying that but that's what i am uh, i'm very rare you know i'm like a pokemon and one in a thousand <laughs> but you know you don't to say the proper thing do not call me an indian uh, i'm okay with it you know what i mean i don't get offended easily that's my thing you guys should probably know that by now i don't get offended easily like at all but basically this video is just going to be show me show you what i'll be doing all summer and give you a bit of knowledge and what i'll be doing now i don't know if you guys can see this properly i only have one screen you guys are going to see like a black bar at the bottom because i don't want you to see all my files down there and stuff that's just my privacy you know what i mean nothing embarrassing just don't like nosy people <laughs> basically it's just emulators and stuff down there but i i don't like seeing the black the bar down there either so i always have everything full screen anyways this is what i'll be doing all summer uh since i'm native american indigenous i do something called grass dancing it's what i grew up with it's what i was born into i, bo I was born into a dancing family i dance a category called men's grass it is something that has been a part of my life since i was a kid i started when i could walk so around like maybe nine months old ten months old and i've been dancing ever since now all my friends and family know that i dance they know that i travel a lot and basically i'll be going to powwows all weekend and a powwow is a, a form of celebration and you know to celebrate life and just pretty much anything just lots of good vibes all around but basically what i'll be doing all summer is i'll be going to going from one reservation to the next and basically i just go to these powwows to dance and compete and have fun and enjoy myself and I'm going to give you an example. Uh, there, there, you should see the video title on the bottom. I'm going to give you a few examples, throw you here and there to be what I'll be doing. But this one I'm in. This video I'm in. Hey, me, you are home. So as you can see they're all dancing and everything uh basically we're all dancing for, to the heart of the drum pretty much just to the beat but we're also listening to the lyrics i can break down a whole like the whole dancing i can break down everything about it the meaning behind the regalia please don't call it a costume we do get offended by that and the reason why we get offended if you call our outfit a costume is because a costume you only wear once while a regalia we wear all the time it's who we are and it's what we love and it's what represents us and our indian names or our spiritual beings and stuff like that that's that's basically what it is and i prefer you guys calling it regalia when you call it a costume or something silly like that i just oh you have no idea how that infuriates me like i just want to Ooh, just like really lecture you <laughs> but yeah please call it a regalia um i'm in here i'll show you around but all these guys i pretty much grew up watching or grew up dancing with um but yeah I, this is what i'll be doing all summer like i just do this for a living i do this every summer i i go on something what's called a power trail so basically uh what the power trail is uh the powers start like as early as january that's the earliest when a power trail starts and basically i just go from powwow to powwow and there's a power like almost every week every day and usually it picks up in june like the middle of june uh usually i'll probably go to a power from monday to friday or even till for like weeks on end so usually powers are two to three days that's the usual uh, sometimes extremely rare which will be four which is super rare powers are usually only three days maximum of celebration but basically we uh we dance for three days or two uh not like all the time but like we are in our outfits a lot and stuff but yeah so this is what i'll be doing the whole time Oh, you guys want to see me that's right and here i come along i'm on the right here i'm in the green this is my outfit this is my regalia this is me this was last year in uh in july i believe
but yeah that's that's me what you guys just saw the guy the guy that walked across the screen that was uh, all in green and everything that's my regalia but yeah any questions you guys have um i'll gladly answer them in the comments or even on my discord probably in discord if you want a more detailed explanation but i'll be going to mostly competitions and the reason why for competition powers is just because i love the music and the vibe and the feeling of having a really good time with other good dancers as well like when i mean good i mean crazy good like these dancers here which was at mandarin last year around july i can't remember what when i think it was july or august i'm not sure i have a terrible memory as you guys know but yeah this is pretty much what is going to be happening with me and this is a competition power i went to and i i've never been here i usually go to places i've never been to uh, i've never danced at just because it's a new feeling like it's a new ground for me to show my stuff show what i've been practicing and this is how i stay in shape you know what i mean by dancing and running so if uh, i'm actually really tired is because i've been that's all i've been doing is exercising but yeah this is this is it this is what i'll be doing this is what i wanted to show you it's probably a bad explanation of everything but i can i'm trying my best here Look, well, there I am. Here I come along. That's me right there. I just want to tell you right now that outfit I'm wearing is very heavy. Uh, this is just gonna be me rambling on. You guys can skip to the end if you want. But basically, I am I am wearing at least forty pounds, I believe, on me because the beadwork is heavy and it's beaded seeds. Uh, for those people who don't know, beaded seeds are the, like the heaviest type of, of beads. They're really heavy uh, when all put together. And uh, yeah, I'm wearing 40 pounds of it. And uh, the outf or the cloth you see on me, if I can back myself up here, uh, if you notice that there is a background, the ribbon is also heavy. The ribbon is triple layered but also the outfit itself like behind it the shirt and the pants are triple layered as well the reason for that is so it could hold all the weight of the ribbon that way the ribbon doesn't just uh fall off or you know what i mean get ripped off easily see uh it's right there on the back you could also see that we triple threaded it with the uh, sewing machine i don't know if you can see that seam there but that's what we did and plus we added other materials on it as well by sewing it on so it's also a lot heavier everything i'm wearing is pretty much heavy and my outfit took about five years years five to six years of of uh, making it i had lots of family help me mostly my sisters and my aunties my father also helped a lot i put a lot of money into it i remember i think i believe we spent around ten thousand on this outfit around there 10 grand that's not even including like the feather work and the roach which is the thing on my head what, what all the grass dancers are wearing here which are roaches it's a headpiece that we all wear it's very heavy. The one I'm wearing is very heavy. And the they're very expensive too. The roach that I'm wearing is at least two grand to three thousand, but I got it for two grand. Uh, its real price is four or five thousand because it's a black roach. I know I'm just rambling on about prices and stuff like that, but that this the stuff isn't cheap, is what I'm saying. What we're all wearing isn't cheap. <laughs> and so we take very good care of it. But yeah, this is this is also what I'm watching too. Uh, usually, I just type in uh, men's grass 2024 because it's 2024. New videos are out. Um, but yeah, you're, this is what I'm going to be doing all summer. This is why the videos are switching to weekly, and the power trail usually ends around September. Uh, I'm thinking we're going to end on the first week of September. Me and my cousin. You guys have seen him in a few videos here and there, or you've seen him on the live streams. Those who do check in or stick around, uh, we do go to these together. But yeah, that's all I wanted to show you and explain why why the videos are going to be changing from uh, daily to weekly and how that will work is that I'm probably going you're probably going to see me every few days on uh, YouTube I've already have a few videos out or planned prepped and ready for you guys uh, if I don't finish Jack and Daxter that will turn into a weekly thing and I'm sorry for that but I'll try my best I will always try be transparent and more communicative with you guys but yeah this is what I'll be doing and if you're wondering what Tansei means that means hello in my language I'm Cree uh, that that's my tribe if if some of you are wondering that's that's what we call a tribe I guess uh, Crees don't have tribes by the way they have societies and mine is the Thunderbird society I believe that's also my Indian name which is Thunderbird boy I am not going to 
to withhold that information from you. I just I'm proud of myself, so I like to like give everything out. But yeah, you guys probably heard of that heard of that name in a few videos. Uh, my friends already know that. I've told them numerous times what my Indian name is, or my indigenous name, or spiritual name. There's there's many there's many ways of uh, saying it or uh, you know calling it. <laughs> And if you're wondering why I don't put uh, indigenous rep 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 representation on my channel, it's just because I don't want that to be a thing for me. Because uh, I do know other indigenous creators who flaunt the culture and everything. I don't I don't want that to take over my love for gaming because I do love gaming, but I want to take that apart. You know what I mean? Like I want to keep that a part of itself, but I do want to have some of my language in there. And I'm still learning. You know, I I know all like everything in English. I just don't know everything in my language, which is Cree. But yeah. So so that's that's what's going to be going on and i hope you understand uh why videos will slow down during the summer uh, i hope you enjoy this little educational thing or this little thing that i've uh, tried to explain to you sorry if the video is a little bit scuffed if it's not up to par with other videos but this is the best way i could do it for you guys <laughs> again any questions comment down below or you know just ask me in the discord join the discord by the way if you want to talk to me personally or want fast replies <laughs> other than that i will see you guys next time or tomorrow or later on today whenever a video comes out this is probably going to come up randomly before june or during june with that i'll see you guys Bye bye smell you later have a great day do whatever you gotta do brush your teeth eat some ass do whatever bye 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 bye